So Oregon has had kind of a rough year. That's a little bit of a broad statement. I think we've all had kind of a rough year. Um, what I mean is Oregon's had a rough year when it comes to natural disasters, right? So first we had the fires break out uh, all over the state in September, and now we're recovering from this historic snow and ice storm. What's that Robert Frost line? Some say the world will end in fire. Some say in ice. Let's move on. Anyway, there's something that these two disasters have in common, power lines. During the wildfires, crews told us that downed power lines sparked about a dozen fires in the Santa Am Canyon, which you remember eventually merged into the Beachy Creek Fire, that huge, massive fire. Pacific Power is actually being sued over that. And last week's winter storm caused the largest power outage in state history, according to the governor. More than 330,000 Oregonians were in the dark at one point. That number is down now to less than 100,000, but it's still around 100,000. So many people. The ice caused a lot of the outages. It knocked over trees, weighed down power lines, and caused people to lose power. So we've got a few questions like this one we got from Mike. Why aren't power lines put underground? Now, obviously, some lines are put underground in newer developments, right? When they build a new development, that's where they put them. But I think what Mike is asking about is moving some of the older power lines underground. Now, we asked PGE about this, and the short answer is it would just be way too expensive. It would cost way too much money, and that's because they would have to dig up a place to put all of them. And there are thousands of miles of lines all over this state. And then uh, they'd have to work around everything that's already underground, you know, things like tree roots and other utility systems. So it is a lot easier to do this when they're installing new lines in a brand new development, but going around and doing everything else would be almost impossible. PGE also told us that underground lines don't really solve everything. They can also fail in a big natural disaster, and it can actually be harder to repair them because, again, you have to dig them up.